You ever wonder what Minecraft would look like in the future? I'm gonna play Minecraft for one million days, unlocking new evolutions, gaining special powers and abilities, and unlocking secret ways to speed up time. Oh no, I'm a little blob, dude. I'm like half the size of a block, dude. I can live inside a tree. Oh goodness, zombies. I have no arms to take them out. Yeah, I just gotta survive one day to evolve. Hello, zomboys. No. Juked them, ouch. Oh gosh, I take fall damage from a single block. At least I can jump. I don't know how I'm jumping. Am I just blowing on the ground really hard? Ah! <laughs> Not so many bad guys. Stand back, monster. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, evolution. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm dying. Why am I dying? Survive in water. Okay, no problem. I'm like a little tadpole, dude. Hey, get in the water. Get in the water. <laughs> Well, it's not the evolution I was looking for, but I got a nice little tail. I can live now amongst the fish. Well, the good news, I at least have food now. Kelp's not the greatest food, but at least Tadpole Crafty has a little bit of grub. One day, I'll be a beautiful dinosaur or a frog. I can't tell. Life as a tadpole is a good time. Oh, my goodness. There's a train of drowns. Ah! Run, 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 run. Down the cave we go. Yeah, take that, drowns. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. I can't physically hurt them, but at least they can kind of get damaged on these magma blocks or whatever those are called. Seems safe enough. I guess I'll just wait here till day two. So, how you doing? Have you clicked the subscribe button yet? Have you clicked the like button yet? Hey! We've evolved! <laughs> I'm a little axolotl, and I can breathe air finally. I'm still tiny, but now I can eat berries, which is good. So I guess I can find some, like, cave berries or whatever. Oh, stop. My little lizard legs are so fragile. Berries are better than kelp, I guess. Or at least they're tastier. Oh, gosh, still midnight. All right, gonna survive in the cave a little longer. The surface is gonna be a little dangerous for us. Hey, look at that. I got a little me-sized hole. And there's berries over here. Heck yeah, man. Lizard crafty is gonna be eating good tonight. Oh, man, this this is such bad food, but hey, at least now my stomach is glowing. My poop is gonna be shiny. We'll wait here until the morning to evolve. Hey, there we go. I can now break all blocks and trade with villagers. That's good. <laughs> I'm not the most powerful being, but at least I can break stuff now. <gasps> oh no, I can't fit through my me-sized hole. Your boys grow up so fast. Ah, glorious sunlight. It's so good to see you. Survive four more days till my next evolution? Oh man. Well, looks like I have some time to kill. Needing to survive for several days and finally having, you know, arms. I could finally break blocks. So I use my newly acquired fist to punch some bark and to bark at some chickens. <laughs> I found a nearby village to get some food and to take a nice nap to pass the time. Although, turns out, I actually can't craft yet. So that's a fun problem to have. Ah, hello, good sir. Whoa, the TikTok of time. <gasps> oh, wow, that's a lot of bones. So at night, I lure the skeletons to the village, and with some help from my metallic friend, I collected some bones. Then, on day seven, I finally hit my next evolution. Hey, look at that, dude! I'm stronger, I'm smarter. I don't know about that one. Ah, sick, dude! Looks like I'm normal size. I can break blocks like normal. I can actually craft now, so that's nice. Look at that! I finally got a sword. You've been good to me, Mr. Golem, but I can take my battles from now on. Alright, so I got my bones. Let's trade our boy for our uh, TikTok of time or whatever. My TikTok and vines. Hello, villager boy. At long last, the totem of time. Wait, wait, sir. Why did you need 24 bones? I'm not going to ask any questions. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Wait, I have to pass 50 days for my next evolution? Oh my goodness. Please help me, totem of time. Oh, very cool. Looks like I could speed up time by doing various little challenges. Uh, I think here I have to freeze myself inside of an ice spike. So let's... Let's go do that. Ah, there are some ice spikes. Oh, goodness, and an outpost. The heck's going on over here, man? Okay, Mr. Book, I'm here at the outpost. Clear out the pillagers' campfires. Okay, can do. <laughs> I like when books just tell me what to do. That makes it nice and easy. Hello, boys. Ha! Stand back. You're freezing the ice caps. You're the cause of the warming of the global. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of bad guys. Okay, 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 okay. This is gonna be a little more of a challenge than I thought. Oh, gosh. I can't take out the vindicators. Yeah. Can't touch me. I'm an ice skater, dude. Call me Michelle Kwan. That's a niche joke right there. You know, the Olympic gold medalist from like 2008. <laughs> these guys are taken out. There's some folks over there, but I think I can take out at least one of these campfires here. Okay. Oh, just gotta take out all the campfires and boom. 
All right, got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hurry, man. Oh, if I take out the top one, it gets all the campfires out. That's good to know. Yeah, I'm crushing this, dude. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> ah, so if I take out the campfire, nearby villagers freeze. I now have 10 seconds to enter an ice spike before the cryo freezing process. Oh, goodness. Um, I spike, I spike. I enter you. Okay, I hang out here. <gasps> Am I getting cryogenically frozen, dude? Time is passing. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> yeah, we passed the day 100. I was frozen for a long time. I have evolved into ice crafty. Oh, that's cool, man. Looks like I didn't save the ice spikes, though. They melted anyways. Yeah. Oh, I can now sneak while holding a snow block to shoot a beam of ice. Damages mobs and then converts blocks into ice. That's rad. Oh, this is awesome, dude. Look at this. I'm just like vomiting ice. Freeze. It's time for you, tree, to cool off. That's awesome, man. I guess I can use that to like get through water and stuff if I need to. Take this foul creeper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it damages mobs. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, let's get our next evolution, huh? That's a lot of text. Looks like I can hibernate like a bear inside of a tree, but I need some honey blocks and there's some local illagers that'll drop some honey blocks for us. Whoa, this tree is massive, dude. It's got a little hole in the side. Yeah, this will be a perfect place for me to hibernate. Let's go get that honey, dude. There's a nice little pathway over here. Ah, uh, leads me right to the mansion. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm so excited to use my ice powers, man. The more evolved I get, the more powerful I become. What happened here, dude? Oh, the illagers. They're messing with the bees. I guess that's why the illagers have so much honey. Don't mess with my bees. How dare you, illagers? Nobody messes with bees on my watch. Ha! Oh, gosh. I forgot to hold the block. hey -ya! Yeah, freeze, illager. Dude, that is such a cool power. And there's my first little honey block. I need nine of these bad boys to hibernate. Hopefully, years will pass. I don't know how much time needs to pass for my next evolution, but I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a lot. Ah, what's up, buddy? Ice to see you. Ah! <gasps> if I squat with honey, do I shoot out honey? No. Nope. Okay, no. I don't know. It's worth a shot. I just squat with honey and it shoots out like active bees. Not the bees! Ah! <laughs> oh, man. I didn't get a honey from him. I just got a totem of undying. How useless it is to not be able to die. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Frozen 2. I'm just gonna take you out real quick. Quick, sorry for being so cold. <laughs> that was a good pun. Ah, I see what you did there. We got it, dude. Back to the tree I go for some nice hibernation. Dude, I wish I could hibernate right now. Hibernating sounds like the best nap of all time. Guys, I'm gonna take a nap real quick. I just sleep for seven months. Let's close this off with some honey. Got some snacks for the winter. We're hibernating, dude. Oh my goodness. How long am I going? I'm so sleepy. I had the craziest dreams, my guys. I slept for 20,000 thousand days. Oh, goodness. What happened to the forest? It's all infested with fungi. Even the woodland mansion's all fungusy. Good news. Looks like I evolved. I either got a tree evolution or I just haven't showered in 20,000 days. Yep. I think it might be that one. Looks like I have a camouflage power now when I hold a stick and I can right click with a stick to send these logs out of the ground, launching mobs up and stuff. That's awesome. Oh, my powers are getting cooler and cooler. I'm camouflaged. You have no idea I'm here. I'm just a moving, talking bush. Now I'm here. Oh, uh, no, I'm gone. Okay, just a tree, and now I'm crafty, and I'm a tree, I'm a tree, I'm a tree. Okay, guess I can't get too close. Mr. Toma time, what do I gotta do here? Looks like I have to drink magical stew. Okay, magical, no, can't craft it, okay. Mm, but there is something over here. Uh, stop, stop, I'm an innocent tree. <laughs> He's looking at me so confused. <laughs> oh, there's water. This might be like a cauldron of some kind, okay. Is there anything around here? Cow, do you know anything going on over here? <gasps> there's a chest up there. Bro, stop, there are so many creepers, man. Back up, monsters. Okay, well, they just destroyed themselves. <laughs> you got any goodies for me? I have a bowl and a swift sneak three, okay? Oh, maybe these are ingredients for my magical stew. Excuse me, sir. Can I borrow some of this? Thank you. We do have these three dirt pathways. I guess I can follow them. Any goodies around here? Is there a chest? Ah, hello, sir. hey -ya! Take my log. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that. Ah, another chest. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we have here? A clock, a bowl, and a potion of swiftness. Interesting. I see a trend going on here. Oh, that's cool. I can be camouflaged and use my power at the same time. Yeah, 
That's OP. I love that. All right. Anything down here? Yes, we got a chest. Oops. We've got a clock, compass, and bowl. We'll throw these in our magical uh, cauldron, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe this will work. <gasps> Did it work? Hey, we've got some bowls, dude. We got some enchanted mushroom stews. Somehow made with no mushrooms. <laughs> I'm just drinking like clocks and books and stuff. So I assume once I drink this, I'll speed forward in time. But I have an idea I want to try before I do that. Hello, me boy. If you could drop me an emerald, that'd be solid. I have an investment idea. If I can invest one emerald into one of these villagers, how many emeralds will I have after a million days? Hello, Farmer Jeremy. How you doing, buddy? Sorry I broke your crops earlier. But I do have an opportunity. I will give you one emerald. Well, time to munch on some uh, appetizing stew. I guess I have to eat all three of these, huh? All right, I ate them. Uh, hello? Uh, oh, gosh, days are passing. Oh, yeah, this is some speedy magical juice, my dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness, what happened? What happened here, man? A hundred thousand days passed? Whoa. What was once lush mushrooms is now just dry desert. Oh, and look at my nice little hat. I got some fungus growing on me. I look beautiful. I look like Toad from Mario Kart or something. Hey, guys! I do have a new power now, though. If I squat while... Uh, is it not squat? If I right-click while holding a red mushroom, I create this little boundary around me. And when mobs stand inside it... Oh, goodness! Wandering traitor! Oh, gosh, you're fine. Well, as you saw, mobs take damage while inside it, and I get, like, general boosts and health and stuff, too, so that's good. Whoa! Check that out, dude! We got a massive pyramid. Uh, book, you can tell me what to do, but I think I have an idea. Let's see. Looks like I have to turn myself into a mummy to make more time pass. Oh, goodness. Hi, boys. Camouflage! <laughs> How does he not see me? Nothing to see here. Just the bushes. Ow! He sees me! How did you get past my disguise? Red mushroom! Attack! All oh, the most satisfying way to take out husks, dude. I trap you in my poisonous mushrooms. Yeah! Take that, husks. Oh, this is awesome. hi -ya! <laughs> I wasn't sure the mushroom would be that useful, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. hi -ya! Take that, you foul husks. Snow attack. <sighs> the husks have been slain. All right, well, we have a sarcophagus here in the middle. There also is a golden button up there or a lever on a golden block. There's also this very suspicious pressure plate that I'm kind of afraid to press. Is it gonna explode? Oh, okay, I pressed it. There's a little light button up there. Oh, maybe I have to press the button. Go, 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 go. Go, go. All right. In three, two, one. And press. Hey -ya! Did I do it? Can I become a mummy now? Did I solve your elaborate puzzle? Hey, my tomb is prepared for my great night's sleep. And by great sleep, do you mean sleep for like a thousand years? Yep. <laughs> get out of here, husks. I'm trying to get my beauty rest. Daddy's got to take a nap. Okay. Let's rest in the tomb, shall we? It's time to become a mummy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at how much time is passing. Yeah, 500,000 days. I look ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm covered in mummy bandages. Oh, there's another portal. There's gold here. Someone looted my temple while I was asleep. I must be a heavy sleeper, I guess. Hey, look at that. I have an infinite totem of undying now. That's pretty cool. And I can shoot out a bandage that'll pull a mob towards me and damage us both. Kind of a weird power, but I guess with my totem of undying, it doesn't really matter. What's next, totem of time? I figure it. Yeah, I gotta go to the nether. All right, let's see what mischief is going on in the nether. Oh, hello, cute little thing. Are you gonna attack me? Okay, there it goes. Stop it, go away. Oh, those guys get damaged fast. I guess my ice power works better in the nether. <gasps> if I break one of these, does it turn into water? Oh, thought I could break Minecraft. Oh, snap. A nearby bastion would provide volcanic conditions. Well, very nearby, huh? Oh, snap. I have to erupt a volcano, I guess, to turn myself into like a fossil or something, right? Ah, weird. I like it. Let's fossilize, my boys. I've got to take out the bottom of this bastion. Uh, looks like there's bedrock down there. That's concerning. Now, I do have a little trick up my sleeve. Not only will I not die falling all the way down, yeah! it sends out these particles and it'll erode the blocks away. So I assume I got to break this bedrock with that power and start the volcano. Ka-slam! Yeah, take that bedrock. Oh, oh gosh, there's the lava. <laughs> I got to be a little careful here. Bam! Okay, that's working. And one last section. Boom. Yeah. Lava's now rising quickly into the bedrock. Into what bedrock? Oh, wait, over here. There's a little platform. There's a little bedrock container. All right, I'll hop in here. And now I fossilize. Oh, my goodness. I like being a fossil. It's very peaceful in here. Oh, dude, look at me, man. I'm magma crafty. And I can fly now. Ah, perfect, dude. I look funny. I like this. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at me, man. This is so fast. So obviously I can fly now. And check this out. If I fall down on mobs, boom, I erupt them into flames. Oh, goodness. And I guess they drop blaze powder now, too. That's nice. Got some nice, easy blaze rods. Cause smash. Yeah, okay. What's next, Mr. Book? <gasps> the Ender Dragon sensing my power has halted time. Well, looks like I'm picking a fight with a dragon to get to a million days. Can I have some pearls, please? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> grab some pearls, grab some blaze rods. All right, let's do it. Transition. And here we are. Wasting no time. Hey, excuse me. I'm trying to do a cool transition here. Thank you. Oh, gosh, go away. Stop it. I'm the most powerful being in the universe. Quit it. Let's take out this dragon and see just how powerful I can get. Oh, yeah, and then we'll check on Jeremy and see how our investment did. Hey, yeah. This should be a relatively easy battle. Hey, yeah. Hello, dragon. How are you, buddy? I literally am unkillable. Good old infinite totem of undying. Come here, Mr. Dragon. Oh, he's perching. Ice powers. Attack. Nero. Oh, that's working. It's working. Freeze him. Yeah. Come on, dude. Give me my million days. No, no. Hey, dragon, come back here. Don't make me tell your father. Get over here, man. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, dude. We got him, baby. Yeah. And there it is. A million days. I'm the ultimate being. Okay, let's see what Minecraft looks like a million days in the future. Oh, whoa, check it out. <laughs> well, it doesn't look that different, but hey, at least they'll update their graphics in a thousand days. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta go check on Farmer Jeremy. What's up, my buddies? It's been a long time no see, huh? Well, technically, I didn't see you. I saw, like, your great-great-great-grandson. What is this? Why is there, like, 60 chests here? Oh, my goodness. These are all blocks of emeralds. I would say my investment paid off of one single emerald. A valuable lesson. If you're gonna hibernate for a thousand years, put a dollar in the bank account. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video.